All right, so the new on speaker is different in some ways and similar in others to the old one. It does have a little display on there. I like having a little display so you can see what's going on. Power Bluetooth, or that's a power Bluetooth. This is uh, to put two, I think, together. The typical controls, your light. This is your backlight. It's just on or off. And your bass boost button. Now, the bass boost stays lit all the time. If you turn, turn it off, it goes off on the display. Whereas like the party box, it quits lighting up. Around back, it does have some little stoppers on the side, some little feet, so you can lay it on its side. It has wheels, handle like the old one. This time we got IPX4, I believe, waterproof rating. The other one didn't have that. You have microphone in and guitar jacks with a separate volume and USB-A. 3.5 millimeter jack. So it does have a waterproof rating where Zillow one didn't. And two tweeters in the middle, two woofers, one strobe in the middle. You got your ring lights around the drivers. And I really like these lights to go all the way around the outside of the speaker. So I'll show you some of the light modes. Let me run that back a little bit. So that way it'll go with the music because this music, this song kind of slows down in the middle. So there's no app that I know of. If there, if there is, let me know. I didn't see an app still for the on speakers. So there's one light mode. Another one. So as far as I know, there's no way to change con controls for colors and patterns other than just pushing the button. That's kind of cool. That one where it has like the side lights on the body going up with the beat, I kind of like that the best. And off. That one just stays on the whole time. I like the one. That one's not bad. That one's not bad either. That's probably my favorite. So anyway, as you probably have seen in some of the old videos I did with the first on speaker, I wasn't really that thrilled with it. It was just okay. You know, I mean, you can find it cheap for a garage speaker. I think somebody said a week or so ago that Walmart was clearing some out for like 50 bucks. I looked at all the Walmart within 250 miles of me at that time and nobody had it. I haven't seen this speaker, the original one, at any Walmarts in my area for quite a while. So if you can find the old one, throw it in the garage. This new one is 150. So if you could find the old one for 50 for a garage speaker, I guess it'd still be okay. I still don't really care.